Things have taken a turn for the worse with CAT scanning of sports cards, and this time I'm not going to hold back. I actually just obtained footage of someone that scanned six packs of Bowman Chrome 2000, obviously looking for a Tom Brady card. Not a crazy card unless you can get a PSA 10. That's like a $20,000 card. What's interesting and not new, of course they can see the player. Of course they found Tom Brady. But this time they actually can see how centered the card is. They didn't even realize this, but they can actually measure down to four decimal places of a millimeter on how centered something is top to bottom or left to right. And they can also see surface issues. I'm gonna show you the video scan of this series of packs. And then I'm gonna zoom in on each of the corners. And I'm gonna show you that this card's basically a PSA 7. They could see the card, they could see the name, and they could see that this is not worthy of a 10, all without opening the pack. Insane. So here's the footage right here. I'm just gonna lay it out. I won't talk, I won't bug you guys. I'm just gonna play the footage. Just watch it and see how they can go in and, and zoom in if you can on the corners. And you can actually see the specific measurements down, again, to four decimal places on a millimeter. All right, here's the video. I'm gonna slow it down so you guys can see all the detail and you're able to zoom in on especially the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Again, this is six packs stacked on top of each other of 2000 Bowman Chrome football. Yikes. So what does this mean? Um, this company, they didn't even realize that they were actually seeing if something was centered or not. They reached out and said, are all cards made like this? Why is this one off center? They didn't realize that some cards, especially the ones that come to me, are not centered. And it blew my mind how accurate they can be. Again, this is not like a card taken out of a pack. It's not a single pack. This is a brick of packs. They slice through it. They find the Brady. They not only find the Brady, but they tell you if it's a seven, eight, nine, or 10 based on the centering, which is like insane. I mean, I think this changes all high-end new packs that they can see because you could see right away if a card's worth it or not. It's crazy. I mean, I guess there are good implications for this where, uh, you know, Fanatics could use this for quality control or um, maybe PSA instead of just grading a pack based on how the foil looks. They could say, yeah, the pack's PSA 8, but the cards inside, those are all 9s. I don't know. Who knows, right? But I think this changes everything. Now we know that they can not only see the card, the player, the team, again, without opening the pack, without opening the case, but that now they can actually see if it's centered or not. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe this doesn't matter, but I think this is huge and uh, sort of a mega development because when you get a PSA 9 of this particular Tom Brady card, it's worth a couple grand, but a PSA 10, it's worth 20 grand. So of course, you send them all the packs, you see which ones are 10s, and then you sell the packs right back. We live in crazy times. Um, I promised this time I'd share a video. I don't know, for some reason, people think that these photos are doctored, and unless I share a video, it didn't happen, so... Here's your video. It happened. Again, I'm trying to help this company pivot away from this and into prevention and detection. Um, but along the way, they're sharing their capabilities of what they can do with me. And I think it's important that I share them with the hobby. So here you go. Let me know how you feel. Mm -hmm.